morning. Good morning. I'm Madeline from Sheen Slings and I'm going live this morning to talk about winter baby wearing or specifically um, how to go out and about in your baby carrier or sling with your baby and stay warm and dry, particularly weather's now changing, it's getting more rainy um, and it's getting colder. How do you stay warm and dry in your sling and carrier? And, um, so yeah, we're going to talk all these things and we're going to talk particularly about layers. So I'm going to get started by talking um, something a lot of parents don't realise, which is yeah, how to work out how many layers you need um, to make sure that you're not, um, your baby's not going to get cold, but equally um, you're not going to get overly warm, um, which is usually harder than the other way around. Um, so the first thing to say is that any carrier or sling you might have um, is like one layer of clothes. And so I've got this, I've got a carrier and I've got wrap. I've got a um, stretchy wrap. These are, when we think about it, they're both going to be like wearing a layer of clothes. So if we consider the stretchy wrap, it's very thin, but we use three layers around me, um, around baby and around um, parent. Um, so it is going to, and you know, those layers are trapping air, so it's going to be warm. It's effectively like um, a jumper, a jumper to itself. So when you are considering your layers, you need to sort of think of this as a jumper, and maybe you're not going to put a jumper on baby because you have this on. And likewise for a carrier, I have got here a Becco Gemini, and it is actually quite airy, but still you can still see it is a layer, and it's going to be like another layer, so I might think of it like another, an extra baby grow or extra a layer. So when we consider how many layers baby should be wearing, most of the recommendations from like the NHS, the NCT, um, is that baby should be wearing one more layer than you. So whatever you feel comfortable in, baby should be in one more layer. Um, and so it's quite easy, you can actually just think of the sling as the one more layer. Um, you know, so that's quite an easy way of looking at it. The next question to consider, the next thing to consider, um, let me just grab the things I managed to knock off the floor getting my carrier. The next thing to consider is baby under your coat or baby over your coat? So baby close to you or coats on first? Um, I have quite a strong opinion on this and quite a strong um, view on this, and, but it does depend. So the main thing it depends on is the age and stage of your child. If, you, if your baby is not yet confidently walking, if they're under one um, and they're not yet confidently walking, then I have a strong preference for baby close to your skin. Um, and the reason for this is manyfold. Now the first reason is that when the baby is close to your, close to, closer to you and closer to your skin, and then you put layers around them, you will be able to feel their temperature. So even without consciously being aware, if baby is starting to get too hot, you, your body is gonna be able to tell that, and your skin is, you're, you're gonna to start to feel too hot as well, and your skin is gonna to start to lower temperature to try and keep baby cool. Likewise, if baby is feeling cold, your body is going to start heating up. And there have been studies done and parents' skin can actually be warmer right by baby if baby is feeling too cold. Your skin is so, your body is so intelligent that it can heat up baby. And additionally, consciously, you'll be aware of this too, consciously, your, your body detecting that baby feels too cold your, will consciously tell you, hey, you baby feels cold, you feel cold, put more layers on, or you feel hot, take your layers off. Another reason I suggest baby close to you, um, underneath the coat, is um, heat sharing. So when you're next to each other, um, you're able to share heat. And it, it's so lovely in the winter walking around with a baby in, your, uh, in the precaria next to your skin because it's like walking around with a little hot water bottle. And in fact, heat sharing is so much that it, it counts for another layer. So it's another whole layer. So the carrier is a layer and also heat sharing is a layer. So you and baby might find you need one less layer than you would otherwise to go outside because of that heat sharing. Another reason I suggest baby close to you is um, it allows, when baby isn't wearing bulky layers in the sling, it allows for better positioning. When they are in big bulky layers like a snowsuit and so forth, it's harder to get a really good um, comfortable position and also harder to protect their positioning and you know it's harder to tighten the sling as well and if the sling is loose because the bulky layers are in the way it can babies can become more danger of slumping um, so I really highly recommend um, being in close to you the other reason um, the final and maybe always the biggest reason for me 
the um, reason to have close to you and layers around both of you is then when you move back inside so if you've been out for a walk outside and you come back into the warm and baby is asleep you don't have to wake them to take the layers off if they have a jumper underneath you're going to have to take the sling off and remove the jumper and wake them up. Um, instead you can um, if the layers are just around both of you you can easily remove them without disturbing baby and their nap can continue even though you've gone in indoors um, you know, can be really useful if you're going in and out of shops because again, you can just open the coat, close coat, open coat as you need without waking or disturbing baby each time. So, and, and I said it's a bit different if you have a confidently walking toddler and I'm going to talk about confidently walking toddlers at the end. Um, so, next, um, we've said in, inside your legs, but how, does, how do we do that? How does that look? How do you do that and stay warm and dry? Well, the first thing I do is I start with me and baby in indoor clothes. So today actually isn't too, too cold, but it is a bit blustery outside. Um, so I'm just in a light long sleeve um, and that's enough for me. Um, my baby is in a vest and um, a onesie, um, which is enough for them. So they're using an extra layer. Now I'm gonna put a carrier around both of us. So we're both in our indoor clothes. So if I was taking my baby out without the carrier, I would definitely be putting a jumper on to go outside. Um, if not, you know, a jump, you know, a whole extra layer so that they wouldn't be too cold. But because I was, we're going, we're starting like so, the carrier is going to be my layer for baby. So I'm going to bring my layer around and bring this like so. Click. So I've started off in indoor layers. Now how many layers I'm going to bring around baby is going to really depend on how warm or cold it is on any given day. So I will make an assessment. But the first thing I should say before I start adding layers as a whole is I need to protect extremities. So you can see the sling is doing a really good job of keeping baby's core warm. They're being warmed by me and the sling is warming them here. But I want to protect extremities. So I will want a hat. I don't actually have one on me today, but I will want a hat. If you're worried about losing hats or losing hats is a problem, um, we do make and sell hat clips, which can be clipped onto the carrier um, anywhere that works, like so, and then clipped onto the hat. So then if baby does chuck hat off, um, you don't lose it because it's on the other end of this clip. Um, so that's one. Um, and then legs, so hat for the head and then something for the legs. Um, I have two. There are two things I find that are really good for this. The first one are Moo Moo Baby Leg Warmers. Um, they come in two weights, like a, a thin weight and then a lined weight. So this one has been lined for extra warmth. Um, they're really good for pulling over trousers, for closing gaps, particularly if babies are in trousers or skirts and things ride up. They're really good for closing gaps. These are footless, so they are really good for babies that are starting to walk because then they can, um, you know, there's, there's nothing slippy on their feet. You can also pull them like over shoes quite easily, or over soft shoes and, and things, or just pull them over feet. So they're really helpful for that. The other thing that, um, I sell is the wrap, um, the wrapper hug baby wearing socks. And these are really super warm, knitted, cozy socks. They also are super long, but will fit a baby rolled down like so, and then just grows with the babies and really stretch out. So it's brilliant newborn all the way to like five-year-olds, amazing. Um, and super, super warm, they just slip on the legs. And the knittedness means that they really cling on. So they, and with so much length, they really don't fall off and fall the, um, close the gap. So these are a wonderful um, way of keeping legs warm. And then, yeah, combined with a hat, now, depending on the warmth of the day, actually today is really very warm. So with a hat and a fluffy pair of socks, actually, and with the heat sharing, that might be enough or a light cardi for your shoulders. That genuinely might be enough on a day like today. Um, however, it might start raining. It really might with the weather as it is at the moment, in which case um, something like this could be great. So this is a bundle beam and this is a bundle bean, and bundle beans come in two weights. This is the lightweight um, carrier, which would be perfect for a day like today and perfect for a rainy day in the summer. 
and spring literally pops over my head, pops around baby, I can clip in the toes, and voila, nice and waterproof. And we've got a little hat to keep them extra dry. I can tuck this in however works, make sure there's space. As more elastics if I want to fasten it to myself some more. Um, and this can be a lovely way, particularly um, to keep the rain off, but also the wind. It's a very lightweight, waterproof thing. But it, all also, it also acts as a wind cheater, so it can keep the wind out um, and can be yeah, a really nice way of adding a bit of waterproofing. And then you could have a light, water, um, light coat for your shoulders too. So that's like a, um, um, a fairly warm autumnal day today, like today. How about the winter? So proper winter again. I'm gonna have had my hat on. I'll have my socks on. Um, now I'm gonna put my coat on. Now do raise your wardrobe. Maybe you have a coat with enough give that you can just simply get round baby or get most of the way round baby. So you can see now I've got legs covered. I've got most of baby covered, and with a hat. We are all good to go, um, and that might be enough. Um, if, however, your your coats are not as excessively large as mine, in my case, I have now trapped myself in my coat. I will now have to get it back out again. Ooh. There we go. Um, excessively large as mine, we can just find something that will close the gap. So maybe on a day where it's not raining, we could just use a blanket. Um, maybe we can use a blanket and an umbrella. Uh, there is, as I mentioned, we had the bundle bean cover, and there was the lightweight version, um, or um, they also sell a fleece lined version. So if it's more, if it's colder than today, if it's a, we're getting heading more into winter, the fleece line becomes great. There is a debate to be had here, depending on how much you're using these things. A blanket followed by the lightweight one will work equally well. So if you just want to tuck a blanket in for extra warmth and have the lightweight that you can also use in the summer, that's a great thing. But there's also, if you're walking a lot in the winter, there's this fleece lined one. And again, works the same sort of way and works really well to, I'm just gonna get baby's legs in, voila. Really, really, really snug and cozy. And then my carry comes around, we've got no gaps. I might be able to, you know, like just do up the bottom so it isn't moving to me. There we go, like so, even if my coat wasn't as big. And voila, really, really, really cosy now. With a hat for both of us, honestly, I feel, oh, I'm boiling right at the moment, but you know, we would be really snug and warm without any anything else out on a freezing, freezing frosty day. And of course, you know, you can um, adjust layers if it was really, really cold, adjust to have a little bit more layers that underneath it when you started um, and really really snug and cozy what are the other alternatives well so there's the bundle bean covers there are also um, there's a product called the zip us in which and there are some other really lovely products appearing too and I'll put some links I will share some links later. I think there's one called Baby Cozy. There are some products where there are literally zip-in panels. So the Zip Us In works by, there's literally a panel that works into your zip. And Baby Cozy makes some that, um, with some, you know, you can match up the zip to the product you buy so that you can get something that literally just zips into your existing coat and goes around. And again, a really beautiful way of just filling that gap and it all feeling quite secure. Um, these are, I often think, are the best options if you do already have a coat. However, sometimes parents say to me, hey, I'm actually in the market for a new coat. I need to buy a new coat anyway. Um, what about those baby wearing coats? Well, they, if you are buying a coat anyway, um, these are a fantastic option. Um, however, they are quite expensive. So, you know, this is why I always mention first, like the bundle bin and the zip us in if you've already got a coat. However, if you are in the market for a new coat, these are fab because they work like a coat. You can see mine, because I don't really baby wear very much anymore as my children are older, is set up like a coat and would do up as normal. And then you have an insert that comes with it and goes in. So it's all the same fabric, all made up together. Oh, whoops, I'm not spotting my baby's head very well there. Um, and we can zip this all the way. Up. 
all the way around. When you are looking at baby wearing coats and you're thinking about investing in one, I highly, 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 highly recommend checking to see if the one you're investing in, the ones you're looking at, have a zip in the back. So you'll see back here. I have a zip in. I have a zip in the back of my coat. Now, some ca ca coats do have this. So this particular coat is an Angel Wings. It's very similar to the Mamalia. Um, there's also the Wombat London coats. Really, really, really lovely. Um, and all of these coats have a zip in the back. Also, the Linny Lamb coats. Why is the zip in the back important? Well, it means that when your baby grows and you're starting to back carry, you can move this panel round to the back. And you will see I've got not only a zip. I also have um, a section here which will come open and make a hole for baby's head to pop out the back and that means I can still be really warm while back carrying. It's worth mentioning because some of the cheaper coats like the Seraphine ones um, and the ones on the Buick, they only have um, the zip at the front and the panel for the front um, and that can be uh, you know, then it just means it will only last that, that winter and the following winter if you're back carrying and you're still using it, you probably won't be able to use the coat. And then if I kind of think if you're going to invest this amount of money in a coat, um, it might as well last you a few years. I should say this coat lasted me, I used it three, um, my daughter was actually born in the winter so I used it that first year with her on my front. The next year she was so, sometimes on my front, sometimes on my back and then the next year she was on my back and she was two and um, I used it loads and it's done me really really well and was worth the investment for me. I also bought it while I was pregnant and using these toggles I was able to sort of shape it so that it, it looked all right while I was pregnant too. Um, although I should say the Mammalia ones come with a pregnancy insert that are a bit more fitted um, which is really 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 nice. Um, I should also say partly why I bought this style and this colour was it also fitted my husband, which meant we could both share the coat and it didn't look overly feminine on him, um, which is also a consideration. And I should say the Wombat London do Wombat London um, and Mamalia do also make men's coats and they make coats that sort of work quite well for both genders, which is very helpful and saves you buying as many things. So um, these are my top tips for layering. And the last thing I mentioned was, I can't find my cheat sheet, but it doesn't matter. Last thing I mentioned was toddlers. How does this change for toddlers? Well, when it comes to just carrying a toddler um, and layering up, it's really worth considering whether or not they're going to want to walk and how much they will be getting up or down. So if your um, older baby is, if you're going out in, and it's raining and they want a nap and they're not going to be getting down the whole time then I would do exactly the same as I did for a baby um, I might be wearing them on my back if they're bigger and then you know something like a um, one of the coats is helpful for that but also I should mention the bundle beam that they showed you will work just as well on the back I'm not going to put my baby on the back but just so you can see it I can use these tags whether um, and this is just both the both the lined one and the non-lined one. I can use these tags to make like a rucksack shape and literally just pop it around and onto my baby. And I've got a video of me doing this with my daughter um, on YouTube and drop me a message if you want me to send you the link. Um, but you can use that on your back again to keep them warm. So if I was going out um, if, and they were gonna nap, then again, I would put layers over them and if they weren't going to get down. However, if you have a very confidently walking toddler and they're going to want to be up and down and up and down and particularly if it's puddle season and they're going to be like, oh, I want to jump in that puddle and then I'm too tired, I need to come up. And now I've seen a new puddle, I need to jump in it. Trust me, we've all been there. Then I would say that is the, that is the time I would say I would put coats over, put coats on first and then put the carrier over the coat. It is worth noting that you'll never get as good fit over coats, not for not for the child and not for you. And um, so be kind to yourself. It, you know, feel free to take breaks. I definitely have had the situation where I've put it over the coat and I've got uncomfortable. And after ten minutes, I've actually been encouraging my child to walk again because it's not as easy to get a good fit. Um, it does take a bit of practice, but also it just isn't going to be as comfy as underneath. Um, but it can work really, really, really well for those when baby wants to walk for ten minutes 
go in the carrier for 10 minutes and so forth and they're jumping in puddles. Um, so in that case, I would put the welly boots on, the coats on, the hats on so that and just put the carrier over the top. They might be a little bit warmer in the carrier or something else I used to do was just literally just take the coat off them to put the carrier on so they wouldn't get so she wouldn't get too hot while I was carrying her. But by that age, by the time they're a confident toddler, you can sometimes ask them if they're a bit too hot. Although that, you know, they'll answer, but they may or may not actually tell you. They might just say no coat because they don't want coats and it won't actually have anything to do with how warm or cold they are. Um, I hope that has been helpful and I hope I've managed to cover everything. If you have any questions, any I haven't seen any questions appear as I've been talking, but if you have any questions, any worries about any of it, you want to add anything that maybe I've missed out or anything, please do comment below um, or get in touch. I will respond to comments and I will put up um, links to everything I've mentioned. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.